Everyone has an energy body. 30 years ago, people would have thought that Reiki was, you know, witchcraft or, you know, totally too strange for them. Hi, I'm Sherry Fogarty. I am a Reiki practitioner and Reiki master at Sage Health and Wellness in Toronto. I actually was going to night school and it was a small uh, class and when I got there I didn't feel well and one of the students said to me can I try this thing on you called Reiki I just had learned it last weekend and I was like okay so she came behind me and she gently placed her hands on my shoulders I within one minute felt the heat and energy going through my body I almost asked her to stop because I, it felt so unusual to me. Probably kept her hands there about five minutes um, and then stopped. And within 10 minutes, I felt amazing. So um, for the next six months, I kept thinking about Reiki and just, I couldn't get over what had happened. I trained about 30 years ago, um, so I'm one of the first Reiki practitioners in Canada and at the time there was nothing written about Reiki. So I learned in the traditional way which was an oral tradition of Reiki. It was over a four day period and you learn about the history of Reiki and then you go through what is an initiation process where the Reiki master, who's the teacher, actually opens your energy centers to receive the energy. Reiki was discovered in Japan in the late 1800s and most of us who practice Reiki and, and teach Reiki say it was rediscovered because Dr. Usi, who is the person who discovered it, also talked about the fact that he had been on a spiritual journey to discover um, how Jesus had actually healed people. And so um, through his kind of going onto a mountain for 21 days and fasting and meditating, he came through his meditation, received these symbols, which are actually used in, in Reiki, in teaching and in the second uh, degree of Reiki. Reiki means universal life energy and a typical session is done on a massage table and so there's traditional hand positions for, for Reiki so to start you place, I would be placing my hands on someone's eyes and then forehead um, and then making your way down their body. We're working with the energy system so a lot of the hand placements are where the chakras are but if somebody comes in with a physical problem, I would definitely also move my hands to, to that part of their body. The main seven chakras are kind of like our, almost our fueling stations for our body. And this is where our kind of emotional, spiritual self is centered in our body. In my kind of practice here at Sage Health and Wellness, um, it's doctors are hearing from their clients what they're dealing with emotionally. And a lot of people do not want to choose to go on antidepressants and be left alone. And so they're coming here as um, an alternative to doing that. Now with that said, if there is a place for antidepressants, absolutely what I would recommend is don't do them in isolation of doing something else, of doing Reiki or talk therapy or something. People come who are dealing with emotional pain. So they may be dealing with anxiety, uh, depression, they're just feeling stuck in their life. There's a whole variety of reasons. I will occasionally get people who come who are dealing with chronic pain. And if they come for Reiki, what eventually will get connected is what is the emotional connection to what's happening in their physical body. And so, you know, that's a big part of what happens when people come and see me. There's definitely a therapeutic aspect um, to Reiki. I work with people where there's an element of talk therapy. So at the beginning and the end of the session, you know, we really kind of check in with, with what's, what's going on because 
we're not separate. We're, we're holistic people and we need to start to understand that what we feel has a huge impact on our well-being. I'm writing a book on healing energy because I want people to understand that we have our life force energy, which is often referred to as chi or ki energy, that flows through us, through meridian lines and through our chakras. Part of this energy body is an emotional energy body. So when we experience things emotionally, they don't just disappear, they actually get pushed down and they start to kind of form blocks in the energy body and it is about um, helping people through cultivating self-love, self-compassion, self-empathy that they actually can start to not have their pain keep them back, keep them in pain, keep them blocked. Reiki can help uh, people who have struggled with addiction and I speak um, from personal experience having grown up around addiction and grew up in a neighborhood that had you know more drugs than a neighbor should, neighborhood should actually have available to them. So I learned early on how people choose substance to experience an alternative feeling to what they normally feel. Nobody wakes up and wants to be an addict. But lots of people wake up and don't want to feel what they've experienced any longer. We need to help people heal that pain so they actually can, can be happy and so that they can get past it. And most addicts I've worked with are incredible human beings whose hearts have been broken. They need to be loved. And essentially, you know, Reiki is, is bringing a, a, that kind of love to, to their energy body, to their emotional, spiritual being. I feel so blessed and so privileged to work with people in their healing. So yes, there, you know, I, I am present for a lot of um, emotional stuff that comes up for people and I, you know, try and hold that, that sacred space for them, but it's the transformation. It's watching people get past what has brought them here. So whether it's that they're stuck or whether, you know, they're having physical symptoms or, you know, they, you know, feel that there's no purpose to their, to their life because of what they've gone through emotionally. To kind of, you know, watch someone heal from that pain and their light start to shine and and they are able to create a life of happiness, which I believe everyone has a right to. It's so fulfilling for me. Hey everybody, make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay balanced.